Hello people, it's Marius again from Please Fix and today I want to explain another TikTok that I made. It's about San Francisco and it has some sweet animations into it on PowerPoint, just made on PowerPoint. And I just want to thank you guys for the big support that you brought in in the last few weeks basically. It's now always all, almost been a month since I last posted. But I now want to take the time to go deeper into this first animation of the San Francisco template so that you can do it at home and uh, basically impress your teachers. If you don't have the time, these templates are also available on my Gumroad. For just like one or two bucks, you can buy this easily. Um, otherwise, you can find a lot of tutorials on my TikTok account, which are quick and dirty. Um, but this is basically the long version today. So let's jump right into it. First up, we are going to go to Unsplash, which is uh, which you can find a nice photo of Los Angeles. So we are going to use this photo here. And for that reason, just going to pull that into PowerPoint. Just click and hold. And then we make this cover a whole slide basically but up first what we want to do is we want to format the background so click right and then format background if it's not open already and then we're going to say gradient fill so in this case this is already prepared for my site so here's the gradient fill already but basically what you're going to do is you're going to choose this go here more colors and then pick this and you just want to work, walk your, work your way through this gradient you have here of the picture. So then you basically have the same background here as on the picture. So now we want to remove the background from the picture. So go to picture format and then remove background. And then mark the areas you want to keep and the areas you want to remove. So we want to remove the whole sky from the picture here. So let's just do this really quickly. So this is like an AI that recognizes shapes. It's not as sophisticated as Photoshop, for example, but just for simple presentations, nobody's gonna notice if you're just gonna do it inside of here. You see, that was quite quick and dirty instead of opening another program and doing it there. So this is this part. And now we want to add our Los Angeles text. So for that, we're going to insert and then text box and then just open up the text box and write Los Angeles in caps. So next up, we're going to change the size, the color and everything. So here we are going to choose like a brownish color for the text and then we make it a little bit bigger, uh, much bigger age as actually. And um, we are going to use Baskerville as our font, basically. So now we want to center this so that it looks nice. And then we want to go to text options and then go to shadow and say we want to have an inside shadow. So now you have this nice effect. You can also remove the blur, then it's a little bit more angular and I think it looks really nice. Next up, we want to use the Hollywood text. So control shift and pull up. And then you have basically duplicated this. Here, change it to Arial and then go white and remove the shadow. Show shadow on this. Ah, it's shape option. So remove the shadow on the text and make it much smaller. And then you can change the text to Hollywood, like this. And just I'll leave it here. Then we want to insert our whole icons that we need. So you can use these icons here from PowerPoint, which are really nice, since you can change the color of each of these icons. So first we're going to add a menu. Then we're going to use a magnifying glass. So this one, and you can just mark them and search for more and then insert all of them at the same time. 
uh, info this one um, and then I think that's uh, the pin for the location and this one so just going to put in these four marked already and make them white so the pin is for the Hollywood and the other three ones are on the side so we can mark them all again and hold shift and make them smaller just move this next to Hollywood and these one mark them all and then go to a range a line a line to the middle and now they're all centered across themselves and then make them go a little bit like this like that so we have the menu on the side then the info and then the search and then go and arrange a line a line to middle and then in order to have the correct spacing distribute them and then you want to go and take the hollywood thing and pull it down here the los angeles can go a little bit lower like this so then it already looks pretty nice. Then you want to click on the photo, go to picture format and go to bring forwards and bring to front. So now it overlaps the text here basically. So now we are going to add another layer, which is another text. So I'm just going to insert another text box like this. And then we are going to use some really basic text regarding LA so Los Angeles and just copy because I'm German we can just copy the German Los Angeles text here control C uh, command C and um, oh, wait where's the text box now oh, it's removed okay so add the text box here control V and then choose keep text only so it basically removes all the formatting here make it a little bit bigger remove some text I think just make control A to mark it all make it white and pull it down here and then leave it like this for the moment okay so the first animation we want to make is that the picture is coming from the bottom and these elements are coming from the top. So we're just going to control D this to duplicate or you press right and say duplicate slide. And then on the first slide, we're going to pull this one down like this. We can remove this text from this slide and we're going to mark all of those and pull them up. And actually for the Hollywood and the pin, it's going to be a little bit higher okay for the second slide it will look like this one second it will look like this which is fine and here we want to duplicate again and then we want to basically push this text to the back okay and here we want to push this one down like this and we want to make this here smaller so let's say 90 like that let's pull it up a little bit okay maybe let's do even 70 that looks good and then we want to pull this up and then we're going to shape format again and send to the back so now if you mark all slides and go to transitions and you mark all slides by holding shift so press here hold shift and press here and add morph to all three you can already see what's going to happen here so for the first slide this is going to happen very nice for the second slide this is going to happen so if you walk to these two it will basically be very nice so that's it for today just a very nice intro to this and you can use the more function for all kinds of this this is basically just to spark your inspiration and to, to get creative with this it's pretty easy to use 
and pretty straightforward. You just have to look that you used different spacing in order to change how fast something is going in. So here, for example, this is a little bit lower than this. So watch here, when it comes in, this comes first and this comes second, which adds another way of depth to the whole animation. And with layering those, it, it looks like the text is coming out of the city here. So like I did here. And you can play around a lot with this and create an amazing presentation in just 10 minutes like we did. Um, yes, thanks for watching. I will be back with the next video in probably a few weeks. Hope I won't take that long again, but uh, looking forward to it. Talk to you soon, guys.